video uh, like it pop up on my YouTube feed as I was scrolling through it and I thought I'd check it out definitely subscribe to Primo Radicals channel I'm not sure what is what their actual name is I don't know let me know in the link down below in the comments down below if you do I should say and please subscribe for more content notice a lot of folks who watch my videos don't subscribe definitely helps the channel if you do I like the damn video if you like it but this is Primo Radical interviewing Rania Kalik about uh, the comments Anna Kasparian made about her where Anna Kasparian is throwing some shade at Rania who is actual you know reporter journalist with integrity as opposed to Anna Kasparian who just makes up these these lies these smears against people who have actual you know journalistic integrity and and morals and don't just make these bullshit claims up against people without any facts like Anna Kasparian and Jen Uger did against Aaron Mate like Anna Kasparian did here against Ronnie Kalik saying that you know she she needs to do more fact checking so let's let's take a look that's why I was a little, I guess, surprised by Anna Kasparian's comment recently <laughs> that you have to do some more research. Yoni says, hey, Anna, you should watch uh, Rania Kalik's podcast uh, interview with Stephen Donzinger, or Donzinger, yeah. Um, and again, she didn't even, doesn't even know who Stephen fucking Donzinger is. I mean, like, that's pretty telling, right? <laughs> you know, I've seen some of her reporting that uh, I think, you know, maybe she needs to do a little bit more fact-checking on. But again... Okay, if that's the fucking case, then provide the evidence. Provide the receipts. Just don't make up these fucking hugely wild fucking claims, these disparaging claims, these outright just lies and bullshit. And again, she can't name anything because it's absolute fucking malarkey. I was wondering what, what your thoughts were when you first heard that and just if you had any response to her about that. Yeah, I mean... Um, nice microphone. You know, I think that she has probably she she just like in her mind there's a group of people that are all <laughs> evil and I'm one of them. <laughs> like she's just like oh, like she's Aaron Mate. Some to Aaron Mate. Yeah. I hate him and he's a Russian agent. <laughs> and I've also challenged her a couple times, really politely, I think. But I've challenged her a couple times on Twitter when she said dumb things like <laughs> about a, Julian Assange or about Syria uh, or you know did her softball interview with Madeline mm -hmm. Albright. Yeah. Uh, Your MSC. Who justified the, the death of... 500,000 500, Iraqi children. 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 Yeah. Five Disgusting. Sanctions because as she said, it was worth it. <laughs> Anna Kasparian interviewed Madeline Albright and didn't bother to ask her about that. Hmm. Um, Pretty glaring omission, you right? yourself somebody on the left and not, <laughs> you know... But she's got a cool pendant, though. Out of your mouth <laughs> if you're going to have access to a powerful figure like that. Speak um, fucking truth to power, you know, exactly. Anna is like a YouTuber. Um, not a journalist. You know, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. But she's not but a journalist. I just don't, like, I actually, I'm, an, I, I've actually, I'm a journalist. Like, I, I go on the ground in places. In Iraq, TYT in Syria, doesn't, at least Jenk and Anna don't, right? <laughs> um... You know, and I have a whole body of work to show for that, uh, that is fact-checked and uh, that has original Credible sources. And I mean, if somebody, like, I don't know why she thinks that she can sit in her air-conditioned studio <laughs> and tell somebody who's spent time in sanctioned countries and actually lives in one. She I'm lives in Lebanon, I believe. Facts. Like, have you ever, has she ever been to the Middle East? Like, I don't even know. And the crazy thing is, what she was talking about, what this was in reference to, was an interview I did with Steven Donziger, who is facing, he's being persecuted by two a, fucking years of house arrest in cooperation with, with Chevron, Chevron, yeah. Uh, for helping what they did in Ecuador, case, right? Uh, to get justice for these indigenous, indigenous community in Ecuador that was poisoned by Chevron. Nobody, and I know more about Steven Donziger, Donziger than fucking Anna Kasparian, host of the Young Turks. And again, this isn't my fucking full-time job. I'm just making videos for fun. And I know more shit than Anna fucking Kasparian. TYT has, what, several million subscribers? But they're fucking, again, imperialist hacks. Democratic Party hacks. Disgusting. Um, and, you know, Stephen Donziger, one of her 
you know, I guess fans or one of her viewers was telling her Ronnie Check it out. Like, did a really good interview. It wasn't even about something I did on the Middle East. It was about Stephen Donziger, who's been interviewed by like everybody who cares. Not about TYT, this issue. I don't think, He's right? Been interviewed by freaking Comedy Central. I don't, and she didn't, hadn't. She doesn't didn't know who it her. is. Yeah. So this is a huge case, especially on the left. He's all over the place, not just on my show, on everyone else's shows. TYT hasn't, like, <laughs> seemed to not, you know, find a reason to have him on, or maybe they don't know about him. <laughs> but, you know, someone's Pay not to Steven know, Dons right? And you're telling me to check my fat? <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe... And with people like Anna and Jane, like... All, 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 the only other thing I'll say about them is, I mean, for them to sit there and to trash countries like Syria, poor, impoverished countries that have been destroyed by their government. If you're going to talk about Syria, I don't want to hear you moralizing or waving, you know, wagging your finger at Syria. Syria certainly has its problems, but if Syria is going to be coming out of your mouth, it should, the first thing you should be talking about is the fucking United States and their fucking involvement and all the fucked up shit that's going on there right now. Get that fucking shit to stop before you say anything else. That's probably what she's going to say. Is what your government is yes. doing to suffocate yes. that country. Yes. And that's not what they're talking about. And so, like, I, you know, I just can't take anything they say seriously. Mm-hmm. 100%. I just can't respect them as progressives. Because they're not. No, I think what we've seen... You can't be a fucking progressive if you support U.S. imperialism, which... Jane and Anna clearly do, and probably all the other hacks that work at TYT, frankly. The last several weeks uh, speaks to a larger rift that um, is, in my mind, predictable and perhaps very necessary, where uh, TYT has really been at the front of it, but we also saw that with the, the Bosch jackson Hinkle debate. And God, Bosch is just like trash. Sam Cedar and Ryan Grimm, and it's this split between this pro-empire pro-imperialism uh, it's not again but that's not left um, yeah in the case of Bosch like an anarcho-neocon uh, <laughs> you know, with, with, the, with the anti-imperialist left so people like you Jimmy Dore uh, people at the Grey Zone Mate Cam, Abby Martin there seems to be a, a very distinct split between these two different groups and I know a lot of people out there um you know, they're, they're kind of treating it as this Twitter drama. And but it's fucking and important. Sort of be on the same page. It's not just drama. Like, these fucking... These debates, these policies that the U.S. Empire has, whether it's in Syria, Venezuela, Cuba, Iran, wherever, has hugely disastrous consequences for the people in those fucking, fucking countries. And so, if you're not for abolishing getting rid of sanctions, getting rid of these regime change wars and interventions, then you're supporting death and destruction. And again, you're not on the left. You're not a progressive. So th- that distinction, it's not just fucking Twitter drama. It's super important. I don't think that these two camps really can be on the same page for right. one because the, there's this existential uh, philosophical difference in are we supporting U.S. empire mm-hmm. um, you know, to... to uh, spread freedom and democracy, um, you know, because even though it's, it, you know, there's problems with capitalism, uh, you know, it's it's an imperfect system, but it's something we should support versus people who understand that empire is creating all of these issues around the world. So, do you, do you would you agree with that, or do you think that the the two camps can work together? Or no, just, fuck no. Thoughts on that? Yeah, I think that you're right. That this has definitely brought uh, attention to this rift that I think has always existed. Um, it's just maybe in the aftermath of like the, the failure, the collapse of the Bernie Sanders campaign, uh, you know, this has come to the fore that these two sides can't really work together because we're not on the same page. We don't want the same things. And I don't think it's just the, uh, it's, 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 it's an imperialism issue, but it's also an issue of, um, you know, how to deal with the Democratic Party. Like these are people who also are insistent that we have to work inside mm-hmm. of this party and yeah, there's no other option. True. Uh, Gotta get lesser two evils. It, like, sometimes we're not allowed to push them, like the force the vote issue really brought the that rift to the fore as well. Um, so yeah, I think you're, I, I agree with your assessment. Like I don't think these two sides can work together and I think it's mostly because we're just opposed to each other. Um, and it's the other side that's showing it, by the way, because they're the ones who are constantly attacking mm-hmm. and name-calling and... <laughs> Actual... Like, 
and a conspiracy <laughs> leftist journalist anti imperialist show <laughs> like unprovoked uh, the same thing with Aaron Mate you know Mike the same Greenwald, thing Max Blumenthal uh, yeah, and I mean, it's the thing is, like, it's we're not attacking them the same way. If if anybody has like just calling them, out their fucking bullshit, like, their imperialism and policies, yeah. On this issue, like you're you're saying wrong things. You're promoting propaganda. Not doing character assassinations. Blocking the ability of people to like form a movement outside of the Democratic Party. It's been on policy, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. It's been on policy that they've been substance on their behavior, on their really disgusting behavior. Whereas from them, it's just lies and smears and name calling. I'm not saying like the anti-imperialist side is perfect and nobody said anything negative or mean that they Shay shouldn't have. I just mean overall, that's the difference here. But according and to so, them, that all anti-imperialists worked for Russia or Syria. <laughs> They're all Assadists. Right? Which is a problem too. It's like okay, so now anti <laughs> They're all paid by the Kremlin. Bad. Yeah. Like, and that's another thing I don't get because you know Anna Kasparian will sit there and say, "Oh, Aaron Mate denies child murder," which he hasn't. But let's say he had denied child murder. That's a problem for you? I mean, you sat down with Madeline all 500 right, fucking thousand people. dead children. Her child murder, her actual murdering of children did not seem to bother you. <laughs> Yet, you know, Aaron Mate <laughs> Huge goes disconnect. too far because he questioned something that should be questioned. Like, it's not even consistent. Like, her, her, her behavior isn't even consistent unless you view it through the lens of a social chauvinist. Okay, you maybe you want Medicare for all, which you kind of Who don't gives a shit what happens in what these happens. other countries? Maybe you want, I'll give her that, I'll be generous. Let's say she wants Medicare for all, and she wants, you know, a U.S. welfare state. That's all great, grand, and lovely, but it doesn't make much of a difference if you continue to support imperialism. Yes. And that's what I mean by social chauvinist. And, you know, it's like, I don't care what she thinks, it's the fact that she has this massive platform. Uh, and that's what she's pushing to her viewers, and then working as a gatekeeper by smearing people who are offering a different mm -hmm. perspective. An actual anti-imperialist you know, perspective. It does tie into a larger class issue as well, because we see people at TYT where you know they're taking twenty million dollars. Katzenberg, from Jeffrey Katzenberg, and also uh, you know related to that, not reporting on him criminalizing uh, homelessness in Los Angeles. Uh, but you know, Emma Bigland's parents, they uh, they're well known lawyers who have connections to, to Oh, are uh, they? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Robbie Yeager uh, did a really good um, expose on TYT a couple of years ago, and uh, you know, he, he went into that a little bit. So it, it seems like a real class issue where these people are <laughs> pretty well off of the uh, you know, transatlantic coastal neoliberal establishment and really demonize any people who you know are anti war or anti-censorship or maybe talking about any sort of um you know broad working class solidarity yeah that that sounds right i mean when i look at like i mean you know i guess it doesn't always go along class lines but for the most part as a group yeah you can see that whereas like i look at the outlet i work for for example which is breakthrough news and I, we're less, definitely we're check less, them like, out less white but we're also <laughs> definitely class diverse like i come from an immigrant background both my parents left a, like they le left Lebanon because there was a civil war starting there and they worked you know uh crappy jobs that they hated and didn't get paid very well at their entire lives um and I still have student debt I don't think Anna Kasparian does <laughs> um so we got the 20 million from Katzenberg for her to just like none of this is to decide what's important and what's not when her life doesn't depend on certain things Again, boycott, divest, sanction, TYT, no sense in getting any type of news, analysis, commentary from them. Support actual leftist, actual anti-imperialist voices and journalists like Primo, Radical, like Ron Nikalik, like The Gray Zone, like Aramate, uh, Mint Press News, Hood Communist, um, etc., etc because tyt ain't it like the video feel like the damn video peace much love